Kate Middleton's video reporting that she had at long last completed her chemotherapy treatment has been welcomed with help and happiness by every one of the people who consider her to be the illustrious family's most noteworthy resource and expectation for its future. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. However, the video has also sparked debate. Set up by movie producer and wedding expert Will War, the recording has driven numerous to puzzle over whether the ruler and princess of grains are leaving on another system to discuss straightforwardly with people in general, removing the media. I can't envision the Lord doing something like this, said senior Regal Undertakings columnist Robert Jobson, creator of the account Catherine. The princess of ribs, it was marginally mixed up, and a few pieces of the text didn't exactly persuade me, yet by and large, I think it was great. True, many people who watched the video were moved, but is this how the monarchy should act? At the point when the English imperial family explores different avenues regarding opening up to general society and uncovering their confidential lives, there is perpetually a separated response. Some are awkward with an excessively emotional methodology, while others view it as legitimizing their reality. As indicated by the Times journalist James Marriott, we are so used to benefiting from the cozy subtleties of Vips lives that any interest for protection is viewed as an insult. Marriott is among the individuals who accept that Middleton has fallen into the snare of making a miserable admission to a voraciously ravenous public. In spite of the fact that it was Kate who chosen when and how she would uncover the finish of her treatment, the video is an approach to conceding that her confidential life is presently everybody's property. Assuming that in the past ruler William blew up furiously at any photographic artist who attempted to take a preview of his youngsters, the three-minute film that Kensington Castle posted on informal communities offers a personal gander at their lives, controlled however unfathomable as of recently. In it, William and Catherine hang out, clasp hands, kiss, snicker. They play with their youngsters and are displayed as an unspoiled family confronting mishap and recuperation together. In 1969, Sovereign Elizabeth II permitted the BBC cameras into her everyday's life to film a narrative just named Regal Family. It was the brainchild of William Heseltine, then, at that point, press secretary at Buckingham Royal Residence, who needed to refine the Windsors for a public that considered them haughty and detached. A sum of 37 million individuals saw the recording, supposedly, as proposed in the Netflix series The Crown, that the late sovereign quickly lamented the choice and requested the BBC to chronicle the recording and not broadcast it once more. Others, for example, the late sovereign's biographer, Robert Hardman, say this was not really. He guarantees that the castle was happy with the narrative's effect yet needed to hold control of an item that was more family collection than public property. Yet, in the period of online entertainment, it is challenging to turn back the clock once it is out. The Princess of Ridge's video feels like an endeavor to meet web-based entertainment in its own specific manner. The hashtag BeKind Brigade grew bored within weeks and whipped up a vicious feeding frenzy of conspiracy theories as to her absence and the reasons for it, despite having been explicitly told that she would not appear in public before Easter owing to significant illness, columnist Marina Hyde wrote in The Guardian. Of course, social media was the arena in which hunting Kate became a jolly global blood sport earlier this year. She attended private schools and received the best education from her parents, but she understands what it's like to live a...